man, that is nice. I'm thinking about doing something with that. to highlight all of these MIDI notes, bring this down a little bit, highlight all of these MIDI notes, and I'm going to hit Control C to copy them. Make sure my cursor is back at one. For those of you guys that don't know, you can easily put your cursor back at one with this bar right here. This bar right here will, if you just click on it and then move your mouse up and down, while it's clicked, it will move your cursor back and forth. All you got to do to quickly put your cursor back at one is just drag it all the way down and it'll go back to one. It's a little tip for you guys that didn't know that. Okay, let's go to track two with control bracket, or track three, I'm sorry. And then we're going to hit control V to paste these notes on track three. And then we're going to copy our program right here. We're going to go here and right click and hit duplicate program to make a new program. That way we can put a different EQ on this one. That's this EQ right here. It's just a mimic of the last program, but we're gonna reset the EQ. Okay, let's do that. And we're gonna put, we have one as our low end track, and then we're gonna put this one as our high end track. So let's switch these around. Low end on the left, high end on the right. Okay, so let's go it on and we're gonna, we're gonna EQ this one for our high end track. I'm gonna bring it all the way out and then slowly bring it back in to mesh with, with the low end over on the left. got this uh, piano pulled up in Vengeance Pro, it's like a bright kind of piano, synth type of piano. So we're going to drop some chords on this thing and see if we can get that going. make it a little bit more sinister, a little bit more dark to match the sample. So I'm going to grab all of these uh, top two notes and I'm going to shift them down an octave by holding control and, and down arrow. Then we're going to shift these notes like this, maybe that one there. Um, let's do it again here and then here again. And then we're going to do something like this here. Let's see if that works. The tremolo sync in the Akai software. This comes inside of the software itself. Uh, what I do is I kind of set the dry wet down a little bit. And then I bump the rate up to kind of give it a nice little choppy feel and this is how that comes out i'm gonna solo the track check it out this is with the uh with the sample Okay, I'm gonna pick 
that high head pad and I'm going to put this on a pad channel right here. That way I can put a delay sync just on that pad instead of the whole program. And that's going to give us a nice little rhythm on a hi hat. Let's go to program channel. We're going to make sure we're on that pad. And we're going to bring down the semitones a little bit. Bring the attack up a little bit to kind of smooth off the beginning piece of the hi-hat. really really good feel if you mess with your attack and decay of your drum samples and especially your percussion sounds and your hi-hats and your, your pitches work with your, your semitones your pitches of your different hi-hats and you'll be able to get some serious interesting feels on your hi-hats drop the 808 in a higher octave that way we can kind of hear it and we're going to lower it to, to a bass octave let's do it and hold shift and down arrow to the bass octave I'm going to use the IOTA Mini Piano, the Elegance Keys Piano, to kind of give this a nice little back and feel with these chords. This nice guitar right here gave it a little bit of a saturation kind of feel so I can kind of get this little sound right here we're gonna lay down like a nice little riff something that goes over this to lay down like a little melody let's do it
get rid of these bottom notes. That way we don't we don't busy up the track. Let's do it. Get rid of these. All of these two bottom notes. See how it works. that and I know what I'm gonna do I want to try something different with arcade I want to use like three notes to see if I can come up with something like a distinct feel or something let's see if we can do something That's the beat, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. All the support that you guys are showing once again. I can't express my appreciation enough. Hope you guys got some tips and tricks on how I handled this sample, what I did to it. Make sure you rewind the video and check it out again just to check out some of the few things I did with the percussion sounds, uh, the semitones, and also using the attack decay and all of that good stuff like that. EQing the samples and making the instruments fit over the sample. Check it all out again if you need to. That way you guys can get the best of the video. If you guys want samples just like this to use in your own music production, make sure you guys check out my website at thedrinkhang.com. The link will be in the video description. All of my sample packs are available for you guys to check out to do the same exact thing with in your own music production. Have a blast with them. They are on sale right now. You'll get nothing but loops and melodic content to where you can start off your beats or even make full beats if you ever run drive ideas and you want to give yourself some new ideas. So check out the sample packs on the website. Again, I will leave the link in the video description do that if you guys want to and have a blast with them if you guys want to connect with me in any way instagram is probably the best place to do that make sure you guys follow me at the drink hang on ig and also drop me a dm and i'll try and get back to you guys as soon as i possibly can don't forget to support the twitch channel it is up and running if you want to see me cook up live and also give you guys these tips live so you can ask questions on the spot, get answers, anything that you see me doing in my music production, make sure you guys join the Twitch. Check out the pinned comment. I will leave the link. Just hit that link. Go ahead on and subscribe. Also turn on those notifications so you get a notification every single time I go live on Twitch. This is the Kid DZD, aka The Drink King, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. I'm going to get back to rocking out on this track. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Peace out.